You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to move on to the next video in our Valentine's Day video series. This is an actual activity I get to do. And it looks like a kit that you could buy. Let's just say you're having a Valentine's Day party, maybe. And you can make six of these. Or you just want to make them for your friends, you can. These are clothespin crafts. Their pre-cut shapes just need glue not included. So, ages six plus, and there's everything inside. A great activity for at home or in the classroom to keep your title, to keep your title, to keep your little Valentines busy with creativity. Use them as fun gifts or pass them out to your special Valentine. Kit makes six clothesbin crafts. And this is from Target, actually, I believe. Let's just get everything out. Now, I have a cutting board which is no longer used for food products, which I use has got been smashed on so many times. So I'm going to use that as my base here and just put it all out. And I can organize it. Well, let me do that. Let me organize it all. I will come back once it's all organized. And then uh, anything else snuck up in there, that's it. So lots of little pieces. I'll organize it. Come back and we will get started making these clothespin crafts. All right, so I have uh, everything organized, but I've been trying to get some of these heart sets so it makes it easier. And I have three different colors. I have the red, the pink, and the white. So I had gotten some ready for my first cupcake. I'll probably make a few for you today, just so that we could try it out. And then I brought in another glue, a little bit stronger glue, and definitely if you're not allowed to use super glue, do not take out the super glue. It can be pretty. Ooh, there's four color hearts. That's right. Wait, one, two, oh, three, sorry. Four, two sizes. There's the large pinks and then the small pinks and then white and then red. All right, I think that's enough to make my first one. So I thought, well, here's what they look like, by the way. So they have a little painting on them. And then what will look better? I think the, the red and the pink. This way the pink and the whites can go together. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. So I was going to start with that. Alright, come on now. Okay, so I'll do one like this with regular glue. And I'm guessing it's going to take a lot longer for this glue to dry. So I'll have to let these set a little bit. Because that'll still move around. And let me try one with a little bit more aggressive glue. And we'll see. Now, like I said, if you're not allowed to use this type of glue, please do not take it out. And please do not get this on your fingers. Okay, let's see if this sticks better. Oh no, it's moving around, okay. So, about the same effect. And then you get these little two from thingies, swirls. They almost look like the top of a cupcake squirrel. Okay. So they kind of show them like that, but I guess you can do them however you want to do them. I might, I like it just kind of like that. Well, it's not hanging too far off the top. But I will conform. And let's see. All right. Again, you know, it's crafting. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll let these sit a little while. And since this one is all super glue, we'll see if it makes a difference. And this is one of those gel type glues. I'll, I'll be a little bit different and go right in the middle. There. And then we'll put a heart on each one. So if you're a crafter, is this something you would do without the kit and just cut all the little hearts? I think it would be pretty hard unless you have some kind of crafting heart stamper, right? I've seen those. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing here. But Oop, Wrong glue. Oops. Things are flying around. Okay. Watch those fingers. I'm going to put one right there. 
that's where I'm putting it. And then the little ones, you almost need like, look at how tiny they are. Little tweezers. Here, let me grab a pair. I got a pair nearby. Let me see, let me just do this. I will grab them like this. I'll put the pink one on this. drop it down. Ooh, I think that works. Turn it though. There, the, the two gets a heart. Let me do it this way though. So if I go like this, and then just get a little glue on that, I'll put this one on this one. Okay, and I'll just keep going like that. I have a little glue on a piece of paper. I will use that off to the side. But it's you know how when you open a glue for the first time, you gotta clean it out. That's what I had to do with this one. So that took a little bit. Ooh, that should have been super glue. That's okay. It doesn't matter anymore, does it? All right. What do you think so far? I'm gonna let these set for about 15 minutes or so That's what I'm doing just like that and then turning around and placing it on and let me get a couple more on the other one And I think I'm good. Put it right on the heart. All right, I will come back once these are dried and then I will attach them to my... There's not a lot of right, uh, room to write to from, so I would probably put to you from me and that would be enough room. Let me try it. Let me grab a Sharpie. When I come back, I'll do that and see how that writes on there. And then uh, we'll attach them to our clothespin. But I think I need these to dry. Let's see. Yeah, see? It's still moving even on this one. Oh, not as bad. This one moves. So I will be back in about 15 minutes. Okay, I am back. And I found a nice red Sharpie with a super fine tip. I don't know if you have one of those. Maybe you can use a pen. I'm not sure. So I did want to write to me, to you, from me, let's just see, to you. Let's see how this writes on there. Can you see me writing here? How about this? Is that better? Y. Okay, it writes pretty good. O. U. Exclamation. From. Me. M. E. So it works pretty good. All right, so as you can see, this one was the one with the, um, what do you call it? Gorilla Glue, and it's holding up pretty good, actually. And this one's okay, it's been a little bit. And it's still not 100%, but at least I can get it on my paper clip. Not my paper clip, my clothes pin. So here we go, the last step. There wasn't really much on the shelves this year in regards to activities for Valentine's Day that I saw in the three or four stores that I went. Okay, there's one. Let that dry. So I was happy to find this. At least there was something. I remember there were kits last year and cookie kits and stuff that we got. All right, there's my two Valentine's gifts. And I'll give these two to somebody special. And there you go, I would say. Pretty neat. What do you think? Fun little crafting project for Valentine's Day? Would you enjoy doing it or not? Would you just cut your own out of felt? It's kind of nice to have everything cut and ready to go though, isn't it? And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making my craft project and you just kind of clip it onto something. 
Hope you had fun watching the video. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more Valentine's videos, look in that description for a playlist. Or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. And this is to you. Everybody out there, there you go. A Valentine's from me. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.